We made it to the masjid. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. The biggest, most beautiful masjid in the state of Arizona. We wanted something that, that people will know that it's a mosque. Color scheme is more of a desert Arizona style. Now, some people were not fond of the colors because of the old concepts like, oh, this is pink, it's feminine. It's like, okay, well, so what? <laughs> what? Which masjid is this, though? There's a dome and a minar. Oh my God, nobody's in this car. Is anybody hiding in there? Oh, it's recording. Man, nobody's in that car. Zatarnan and Sadanan. <laughs> then we have the chame, Purnia. The kids are here and look at this beautiful masjid. People who constructed it were mainly from the subcontinent. We have a lot of activities for the youth and you'll see that a lot of the youth come from all parts of the valley, even far off areas such as North Phoenix, Scottsdale. We're about to arrive at the masjid. Everywhere Islam went, it beautified it. You had the Jahili Arabs and then Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came and look how much more beautiful the people became. I saw your episode, I believe, on Fishers Indiana. Yes. MashaAllah. Yes. Brothers and sisters, welcome from Tucson, Arizona. It's 9.26 a.m. As you can see, these beautiful palm trees here in the hotel. The temperature is 53 degrees. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Beautiful temperature. The sun is out and it's warm. Today's destination is Phoenix, Arizona, the capital of this beautiful state. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhanallah. Sakhara lana haza wa ma kunna nahu mukrinina wa inna ila rabbina lamun kalibun. Palm trees all around beautiful Catalina foothills today is an exciting day mashallah subhanallah because we are visiting four masajid one here in Tucson and three in Phoenix first of all we got to visit this absolutely gorgeous masjid the video of which you have already seen alhamdulillah which is the MCCT and after that we'll be heading to Phoenix for ICEV Islamic Center of Eastern Valley and after that inshallah we'll be heading to Tempe Masjid and before all of those we'll be heading to the most beautiful masjid in the city of Phoenix ICCP but for now let's take a beautiful look at this absolutely gorgeous masjid assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamu alaikum brother how are you brother good to see you I'm here to take the drone shots inshallah oh okay yes can I park there inshallah okay all right thank you okay uh, no I just from the outside yeah, I already did everything from the inside, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, brother. MashaAllah. Let's do this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. All right, brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, that was the beautiful masjid. And now, Fiyamanullah, you Muslims of Tucson, may Allah bless you. And inshallah, now we'll be heading out to Phoenix. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Exit 206, we take Northern Avenue from I-10 and the masjid was quite visible from the road. They have the Texas U-turn here, which I love, but they don't actually. There is a street light. I thought this was a Texas U-turn. All right, everybody, we made it to the masjid here. SubhanAllah, look at that. This is it. ICCP. It starts from here, and mashallah, it keeps going. This is the parking lot. And we are going to enter from here, inshallah. Mashallah, brothers. Look at that pink masjid. SubhanAllah. Look at that. The most beautiful masjid in Arizona. Ikna Relief is here. 
Savannah. Oh, no. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول My name is uh, Usama Shami, and I'm the president of Islamic Community Center of Phoenix. Organization started uh, back in '83, and has nothing to do with the faith, as you know. But we wanted something that that people will know that it's a mosque, right? First design didn't have any domes. Now it has three domes. Sure. It has actually one main dome, and then four uh, mini domes or half domes. There's also the mihrab has a dome, and then the entrance has a dome. When he came and showed us the first design, I said, "Hey, you know what? Are you? There are no." Domes. I saw, so the second design that he came with, they show us all of those domes, and then he asked me, the, "Is that enough domes?" I said, "Yeah, that's <laughs> that's about right." The other thing is that the color scheme is more of a desert Arizona style. Now, some people were not fond of the colors because of the old uh, concepts, like, "Oh, this is pink; it's feminine." I was like, "Okay, well, so what?" <laughs> that's not the biggest, most beautiful masjid in the state of Arizona, and now we are back on the highway, and we're heading towards a halal restaurant because we need some lunch in the system. This city is hot and full of people. Almost 80 degrees right now, 81 a few minutes ago, and you can see the traffic in the city is insane. A lot of Muslims live here, six million people. In the valley, in the metro Phoenix area, people just keep on coming. It's the Baraka. We got so much traffic because we are in rush hour. Not even rush hour, it's just 3.13 p.m. But people are out and about. Look at the line. Look at the number of cars in the city. May Allah protect us. Inshallah, we're going to get some halal food, some Pakistani food, inshallah. Let's get some. What? Which masjid? is this though there's a dome and a minar is it no this is not a masjid as a muslim the only thing that i can think of that this is a masjid allahu akbar the light of the world well islam is definitely all right everybody we're about to arrive to halal all right, everybody, we're about to arrive at the halal restaurant here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, wow, what is this? Oh my God, nobody's in this car. What? Astaghfirullah. My goodness. Waymo. Is anybody hiding in there? Nobody's in this car. I've never seen something like this in my life. Brother, where you going? Getting some halal fuel, inshallah? Oh, it's recording. Oh, there's cameras over there. One, two, three in the back. Four, five. The cameras everywhere. Oh, this is a... Is this a Google Maps car? Am I going to be on the internet? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. I like uh, filming people and places, not getting filmed myself by Google. All right, see you later. Jazakallah, brother. Ma salama. Wow, oh my God, this is really driving by itself. What if I come in front of it? Don't hurt me, Google. Man, nobody's in that car, man. Let's go, inshallah. It's time to eat. Naan and salan. Do you have any questions about the menu? Do you know if it's hand scanner chicken that you guys doing on machine? Uh, I think it's machine cut. They see kabe curries. Do you have any other menu? Garlic naan. Zatur naan bhi hai. Ye kya hota hai? Pratha bhi. Pratha bhi. Chhod de. Kar de pratha. Aap bhi kaun sa chhod de? Hum jaise. Chhod de. 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 Chhod ऑप्शंस ऑप्शन थे ना हमारे पास ये खा सकते हैं फिश कबाब इसे पूछते हैं क्या अच्छा क्या आपका है ना रेकमेंड कुछ रेकमेंड करेंगे क्या 
goat or lamb here? Yeah. Goat. I would go goat. Cry is really good. Uh, Halim is really good. Paya. If you like uh, goat paya. And um, goat, uh, goat curry is good too, but it's not that spicy. Beef nahari or the beef shish masala fry. They take the kebab and they cut it up and put it in the kadai sauce. Goat curry is like this. We can just do share. Nahari and the masala fry. Two two dishes. پوری <laughs> 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 شیش کباب and then they put it into the curry which is a different kind of innovative dish you could say oh wow strong flavor hits you right in the mouth <laughs> immediately it's pretty good food actually so if you're in the phoenix area you know definitely try the Pakistani slash indian slash afghanistani they should just call it south asian restaurant check this out brothers and sisters they got manjiya on the outdoors typical pakistani style punjabi style you can bring your families here and hang out on the manji ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters look at this beauty because right now we're headed to the islamic center of the eastern valley in chandler arizona we're on half an hour away inshallah and we gotta get there before maghrib still have to pray asr though but inshallah we want to get there so that we can get some amazing drone shots of this beautiful masjid this is chandler absolutely beautiful gorgeous environment we got the palm trees in the middle of the road and absolutely beautiful homes on each side just a few minutes away from the masjid very nice area i have to say mashallah and sunset is about to happen and we should be able to see the masjid after this but the traffic is a lot let's go inshallah get on this road and we should be able to see the masjid allahu akbar there it is assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh yeah islamic center of eastern valley mashallah the sisters are here the kids are here and look at this beautiful masjid la ilaha illallah let's take some drone shots real quick inshallah before it gets real dark Bashir. I am the office manager here, one of the employees at the Islamic Center of the East Valley in Chandler, Arizona. It's a fairly new masjid. We built it in 2010. Started out as a foundation and then they started praying here when there was not even a roof here. And then really? slowly they started to build it and the community has been growing, I would say in a very fast pace, mashallah. And it's continued to grow and we serve the, of course, the Chandler area, Gilbert and also Mesa. We serve a lot of families, so it's a more family oriented masjid. Perhaps uh, people who constructed it were mainly from the subcontinent, but uh, a a lot of uh, Arabs, mashallah, a lot of uh, Afghan communities as well. Believe it or not, uh, we have a revert community as well. Part Latino, part white, and uh, part uh, African American. We have a lot of activities for the youth, and you'll see that a lot of the youth come from all parts of the valley, even far off areas such as North Phoenix, Scottsdale. Everyone's welcome to come visit us whenever they want. Yeah. They'll see that we're very friendly and very welcoming. That was the masjid here in Chandler, Arizona. 
Mashallah, absolutely amazing masjid. But now it's our last masjid of the night. So let's go, inshallah. We got to go to Tempe, Arizona. 21 minutes away, 13 miles, 65 degrees is the weather. Let's go, Bismillah. All right, brothers and sisters, mashallah, we've reached Tempe, Arizona. Look at this beautiful waterfront with the beautiful lights from the buildings and then the beautiful crescent halal moon in the back. Mashallah, mashallah, we're in Tempe. We're going to be in the masjid in just around five minutes. Arizona at the Arizona State University and look at that. We're about to arrive at the masjid. Allahu Akbar. This is Tempe Masjid right in the heart of the campus. And the masjid is right here. Look at that masjid. Subhanallah. And it is packed with Muslims. Is this the masjid parking or not? Mashallah, it's uh, quite a massive masjid. I mean, for, for a masjid that is a university masjid, this is really massive. It's huge. Let's look for parking one more time. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Omar Tawil. I'm the Imam of the Islamic Community Center of Tempe here in Arizona. The deserts of Arizona was uh, one heck of a move. The second masjid in the entire state. So everywhere Islam went, it beautified it. You had the Jahili Arabs, and then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came. And look how much more beautiful the people became. And then Islam began to spread to the Middle East, where I'm from, and how beautiful it became. And then to North Africa, and into Southern Europe, and into Central Asia, and look at how beautiful they became. Look at how much more ihsan or excellence and virtue was brought into a people by them accepting Islam. And you see that every culture that embraced Islam, it became very unique and very beautiful in its own way. Many Muslim cultures around the world in their masajid, they adopt two things, geometric patterns, Right? right, shapes and beautiful patterns that are very pleasing to the eye, yeah. and calligraphy. And then they come here for Aisha and they're like, Imam Umar, I was told this is the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to protect my deen, and I want to meet Muslims, and I want to have friendships, and I want to build relations, this is the place to be. I'm like, Bismillah. I saw your episode, I believe, on Fishes and Diana. Yes. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. I think this is a very beautiful project. And it's something that should inspire people to come out and see this. Push ourselves to gather and to pray in congregation. Right. Because Allah is with the jama'ah. Allah is with the congregation. And that's where you have so much khair and so much blessings uh, coming out of, inshallah. So Thank you, Shaykh. Right. Right. Really inshallah. appreciate yeah. it. My brothers and sisters, that was Tempe Masjid. Mashallah, absolutely beautiful masjid. And we are still at the campus. It's 10 p.m. at night. Kids are all over this place and I am super duper hungry. I'm gonna go to this place called Shawarma. Something, something. Shawarma factory, inshallah. Get some shawarma here. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Sound like Sharma is good? Yeah, everything is good. What would you recommend? Oh, I don't know, I like everything. <laughs> okay. I'll have the chicken shawarma with rice. The sandwich, the wrap one, or the plate that comes with rice? No, the sandwich, yeah. For here or to go? Here. Good morning, inshallah. This place closes at 4. Actually, there's a slum right there. This is, I think it's. Sorry. Look at this beauty, mashallah. This is the chicken shawarma combo at this beautiful restaurant. I've seen the. Where's the light? Now you all should go to sleep inshallah. And I'll see you tomorrow inshallah. Have a good night. Asalaamu Alaikum.